You might have heard about AI Assistant, our AI plugin for PyCharm and all of their JetBrains IDEs. Just recently, we launched a pretty big update to AI Assistant, and I want to walk you through how to use it in PyCharm so you can be as productive as possible. So let's take a look and start with local AI completion. PyCharm ships with local AI models out of the box. They are free, fully local, and offline, and they are great at code completion. I find that the more I use them, the more they feel like PyCharm's built-in auto-completion, but with even more insights and more advanced capabilities. And you don't have to do anything to access these models. They are free and built into PyCharm. Then there is cloud completion, which uses AI models in the cloud and can do even more. You'll have to enable it by clicking the AI Assistant panel on the right and choose Install Plugin. If you ever need to deep dive into AI Assistant settings, you can go to Settings, Tools, AI Assistant, and configure it there. You can also disable it entirely if you want to via the plugin settings. Once the plugin is enabled and you've logged in with your JetBrains account, you'll find a bunch of features in the AI Assistant panel. There's the chat, which you can use to ask questions. You can attach files, commits, and other information to fine tune your prompts. You can manage custom prompts as well. Choose which AI model you want to use. You can even plug in your own local models if you want to. There's web search available via the slash web command. And finally, there's the mode selector. This is a pretty important one. We'll take a closer look at it in a second. One of the most powerful features of AI Assistant is code completion generation, powered by Mellum, our in-house LLM specifically trained for code. AI Assistant will suggest single line completions or whole blobs of code. You can prompt it straight from within your code or use one of the built-in AI actions to generate documentation and even unit tests. Now let's take a closer look at the mode selector. By default, AI Assistant will be in chat mode, which means you can ask general programming questions. In chat mode, AI Assistant will not use any context-related data unless the code base button is toggled on. Then there's our new edit mode, currently in beta. In this mode, you can ask AI Assistant to make changes across files in bulk. An important difference between edit mode and an AI agent like JetBrains Juni is that with edit mode, you will always have to review every change. It feels very similar to how you would refactor code. The good thing is that reviewing these changes is a breeze thanks to PyCharm's diff viewer. Let's talk about context. The more context our AI models have, the more accurately they can provide answers for us. In edit mode, we'll do our best to determine which files should be attached automatically. In chat mode, however, you can fine tune the context as well. AI Assistant also gives you fine grained control over the generated code. So that's an overview of our update AI Assistant. In my experience, the best way to truly learn its power is to try it out for yourself. AI completion is free to use in PyCharm and you'll get limited access to other AI features for free as well. You can read all about pricing on the page linked in the description below so you can get started with AI Assistant today. Enjoy.